So I'm stopping testing because the advertisement is false. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got another exciting battery review video for you today. This time from Vader Power. It is their 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate model. Don't be fooled by its small size. Hiding in here is a big surprise. As you see, I've been using this battery for a few weeks now, running through its paces. So today I'm gonna bring you the full review, tear down, capacity test, and all that good stuff. So just a little 50 amp hour battery, a small compact 12 pound package. The rest of the specs will be on this slide right here. Use this on my little water irrigation pump for the garden, so I'm charging it back up. I'm gonna do a full capacity test and all that good stuff on it. Time for the capacity test on this little 50 amp hour battery. You can see the charger is at 14.4 volts. I'll turn up a little bit, no more current going in the battery, so it is completely full. As you can see, no hidden wires. That's the sampling meter and shunt right there, nothing hidden. So I'll go ahead and power up. 14 volts. Turn on the inverter. Just let it run down the capacity on it since it's a little smaller unit. Mainly want to see what the capacity is. Here we go with the load. All right, here goes load number two on the battery. Past rated capacity and still pulling. See how much more it's got in it. All right, the inverter just shut off. 664 watt hours out of a nominal 640 watt hour battery. Now time to tear it apart and see how it's made. All right, you know the drill, I got it most of the way open, so we'll crack it open together. All right, there it went. All right, so what kind of wire we got going on? What's going on in here? I see two sets of 12 gauges on the positive and the negative. All right, nice connections, nothing loose. All right, make note that this pack was the least secured pack to the bottom of the case of any battery that I've taken apart. It just basically just slid right out in a cylindrical pack. So it started getting a little, little fishy after I saw the cylindrical pack. So I got some screen capture for you from Vader's website on this battery. Yeah, right here showing high and low temp protection cutoff. This will be important in just a second. And right here, the cutaway of the battery showing you know, what would lead you believe is prismatic cells. And we got cylindricals. So, you know, if you don't like that, and then we're showing a five-year warranty on the website. The manual also says five-year warranty, but if you look at the fine print down here, it's only showing a two-year warranty. So another, you know, I don't know if it's misleading or, or an error on their part, but it's in the manuals, it's in the warranty. And like the battery, it's, it's got low temp protection plastered all over it. The adhesive to hold the battery pack down in the casing didn't grab the casing very well. Plenty of foam around it. Just wanted you to be aware. And there's a view of the cylindrical pack configuration. Got nice cell holders. Uh, you know, no, no major issues so far. And I cut into it and look into it a little further. All right, there's a little BMS on it right there. I'll get you a closer shot of that for the information. But you see what I see? Or lack of? That's right. There's no low temp protection on this unit. Just a thermal switch right here. 75 degrees C thermal switch. No low temp sensor, no sensors at all. Just a high temp thermal switch. So there you go. And give you another shot to be fully investigative. There's no thermal switch on the BMS. This is protection for the entire battery, high temp. You can see that's a 75 C switch. Thermal switch, not temperature sensor. After your sensor pinouts will be in this area right here. This BMS is not configured that way. So I'm stopping testing because the advertisement is false. So as you saw this, the, the manufacturer claims low temp protection right here. Low temp cutoff protection, charge and discharge. That is a high temp thermal switch. So when I find that the manufacturer is making false statements, I cease all testing, halt testing, and I don't go any further. Because, um, you know, they're lying to you right off the bat. How can you trust them? How can you trust anything else with the company? So that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, questions put in the comment section. I hope you earned a like from you. If you're not subscribed, appreciate the subscription. Y'all have a nice day and be safe.